Okay, salam, assalamualaikum, salam syastra, salam ayam, and a very good evening to Dr. Aliza Ali. So let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is. This is my personal information. My name is Fazul Hafizi bin Dasuki. Uh, I'm. Uh, this is my first semester of uh, Master of Early Childhood Education at Sarawak Learning Center. Okay, this is my metric number GS uh, CGS zero one seven five zero two three four. My occupation is lecturer at Unita. Uh, my work experience uh, around three years, and I'm going to present the sub uh, the subject HMEC five two one three early childhood curriculum planning and assessment. So let's go to introduction. So okay, this is the purpose of this is the purpose of assignment. Okay, to design an applicable early childhood curriculum for children aged five years old based on Hilda Taba model. Okay, and she believed that there should be clear, definite order to curriculum design that teacher must be involved in process. Okay, so Taba uh, have has introduced the eight step to model of curriculum development. Okay, and for your information, Hilda Taba can be uh, considered as one of the model. Okay, beside uh, beside Tyler, ah, uh, beside Tyler model, if I'm not mistaken, Tyler. Okay, now uh, okay number one. Identify the needs of the student. Okay, identify the needs of the student. Curriculum making should should be start with diagnosis the needs of students. So we need to identify. We need to find out what uh, what is the what student needs. Okay, based on our task, our my based on the day the assignment. Okay, so I need to find out. Uh, what are uh, the need of of the children at the age of five years? Okay, now number two, the second one, formulation of the objective. The third one, selection of contents. Choose content that match the objective. Means, uh, that is suitable for the objective. Okay, the fifth, the fourth one. Organize content considering the learner experience and background. Okay, now we continue. Okay, the fifth one select instructional method promote student engagement. The sixth one organize learning experience by sequencing content. The seven called che uh, checking for balancing. Uh, oh sorry Evaluate to ensure mastery And the last but not least Checking for balance and sequence So based on Hilda Taba model Okay I have uh, designed One curriculum uh, Name Smart Kids curriculum That are focused on Integrate So this is the logo all smart kids, the golden age of specialists. Now uh, we go to selecting the curriculum. Okay, this is this is the this is the important part because before we uh, create uh, or create the curriculum or uh, before we uh, plan the curriculum, we have to know. Okay, uh, either. Okay, we have to know the self-sufficiency of curriculum. Okay, the content not only provide learning, knowledge, and skill, but also enable the learners to connect their intellectual, emotional, and spiritual so that they can transform themselves. Okay, now the second one is significance. Okay, uh, for the significance, contributes to the basic idea concepts, principles, and overall aim of the curriculum. The third one is validity. Okay. 
the outer the authenticity contains select validity must be verified at the initial selection of curriculum content so this part is important for validity because uh, yes before because we are uh, when we plan uh, the curriculum okay we have to make sure that the uh, curriculum is valid Okay, the fourth one is interest. Learner center is the key of the curriculum contents. Okay, so we need to find out the uh, interest okay, on what they really want. Okay, what is student need uh, based on curriculum. Okay, now the last one, learner learn ability. Content are selected within the range of experience of particular learners and possible to learn. Now we go to the next one. Okay, this is curriculum A. Okay, so based on Smart Kids curriculum, okay, students will understand and become proficient. Okay, proficient and identify the different type of need. Okay, different type of need means ah. Uh, based on age appropriate okay for example if the student okay uh, at the age of five years old means okay this student uh, will understand and become proficient identify the different type of need okay this student will understand what they really need okay at the age of five years old okay the second one to promote the provision of early child education on equal terms Throughout the country, which is to guide the developments of the contributes to develop the quality of activity, okay, to promote the provision of early childhood education, okay, because nowadays, okay, uh, early childhood has become part of uh, human need, okay, part of human need based on Abraham Maslow, okay. Uh, we need a uh, place to to uh, we need place uh, a shelter okay uh, to take a, uh, to put uh, the children in the safe place okay based on our Maslow okay that is why okay we have to promote the provision of early child education on equal terms equal term means there are no uh bias okay there are no hollow effect among uh kindergarten okay because maybe some uh, because some of the kindergarten uh, they are still uh bias okay maybe because of the family come from maybe because of the student come from rich family so they will take care of the children with the uh care with the uh care while uh, for those who uh, come from poor, uh, poor uh, economy, poor status, and they won't care about their children. So we, we would like to avoid this thing happen. And beside equal term, so I'm, I'm using equal term, beside, uh, we would like to uh, make sure that the, the, the teacher Okay, based on uh, smart kids curriculum that the teacher uh, uh, teach okay uh, all the student uh, fair and square okay give the knowledge fair and square okay they are no longer uh, they are no need to choose uh, or they are uh, there are no bias among teacher and student because now some nowadays some of the student uh, some of the teacher uh, this they, they still uh, prefer smart student rather than poor student. I mean, uh, uh, the student who teach, uh, who, who are still uh, learning. Okay? So, uh, they only uh, spend the time with the smart student rather than uh, for those who are still learning. Okay? So, we we'll have to avoid this thing happen. So that is why uh, I use equal term on smart kids. 
uh, curriculum so that uh, this team won't happen so that uh, on every child, on every kindergarten there are no bias there are no hollow effect among teacher and student okay next one curriculum objective okay uh, there are three Okay, number one, the first one, to develop children cognitive through appropriate activity. The second one, to undergo children psychomotor based on activities provided. The third one, to develop children effective through, a for, through formal learning. Okay, so the reason I put uh, to develop children cognitive through appropriate activity as the prior, as the first one, because okay nowadays and every parents wants the children become smart or uh, and beside uh, mastery for m which is uh, reading listening speaking and cause and effect or in other words we call it as monocle okay uh, every parent want the children mastery the four the four M uh, is membaca, mengira, menulis, and manapun. In English, speaking, learning, writing, and cause and effect. Now, we go to the second one. To, under, to undergo children's psychomotor based on activity provided. Okay, to undergo children, which is fine motor skill and gross motor skill based on activity provided. So, based on the objective, we will provide uh, both activity for them so that they can uh, use the uh, children the uh, sensory motor okay uh, to develop to uh, increase the movement okay for the fine motor skill and gross motor skill so that they will uh, so that they learn okay what they need for the age of five years old okay uh, third one, to develop children effective through formal learning. Okay, next one. Now we go to curriculum philosophy. Okay, uh, for curriculum philosophy, okay, I have used three okay, uh, philosophy, uh, which are reconstructionism, reconstructionism. Okay, emphasize the addressing of social question and a quest to create a better society and worldwide democracy okay means every children have uh, every children have uh, their own uh, what we call uh, their own uh, every children okay can do whatever they want to do okay that's what i mean okay second one reconstruction educator focus on a curriculum that highlight social reform as aim of education the third one teacher and school become agent of social reform okay now we go to the second one progressive wisdom okay emphasize on how to think and not what to think so we're going to emphasize them on how to solve the problem okay not what to think on what should i do right there are two different things what should i do and how to solve the problem that's why uh i this that's why i'm using progressivism okay and second one focus on learner rather than then subject so we will focusing on learner we will focusing on their limitation okay means we want foster to uh, achieve the objective if they reach the limit because we know that if we still force them they will take them okay right so this happened to children to kids nowadays at the age of five years, they've been forced to mastery one until ten. Okay, one until ten. Uh, they have been forced to uh, uh, to uh, understand uh, the, the meaning of alphabet, uh, how to pronounce the word, etc. Okay, yeah.
some student they can they can do okay they can mastery but some student they cannot so we need to we will find out on how to help them how to guide them so that they can master the four thing okay the four skill which is writing listening writing listening uh, okay writing listening counting and cause and effect okay the third one teacher should guide student in problem solving so teacher will guide student on how to solve the problem so that they know what to do they can they can implement in their real life without a doubt without uh, a doubt okay the third one parallelism focus on value associated with reason okay the parallelism okay the parallelist curriculum is subject center emphasizing emphasizing language lit literature mathematics and science teacher are viewed as authority uh, author, uh, authorities in their field now we go to learning theory okay for the learning theory uh, i prefer these two person okay okay the first person is maria montessori okay maria montessori so she the, the primary goal of uh, Mar uh, montessori program is to help each child reach its potential full reach, reach its full potential in all area of life or we call it as the holistic or equal term okay so she believed that so she believed that uh, she, uh, she believed that adult okay need okay adult need to help children to reach full potential in all area of life okay during the uh, during uh, at the age of four or five years okay the method of, of Montessori is based on three key factor the specialized training of the teachers a special uh, a specially prepared environment complete with Montessori apparatus and multi-edge grouping of children okay now when these elements are in place young children are able to discover their own talent get self-confidence or self-esteem okay makes friendship means socio emotion experience the joys of learning and grow in a holistic manner okay that is for maria monte sorry now we go to jane piaget according to piaget children are born with very basic mental structure which is genetically inherited and involved okay on which all subsequent learning and knowledge are based okay it is concerned okay with children rather than all learner okay it focus on development rather than learning first so it does so it does not address learning of information or specific behavior okay now okay then for fun it purpose this great stage of development marked by qualitative difference rather than a gradual increase in number and complexity of behavior concept idea and etc now for the next one now we go to curriculum approaches for, for the curriculum approaches uh, i prefer i'm still using Montessori uh, because uh, through his program through her program sorry her program through her program okay i believe that okay i can adapt okay i can adapt uh, smart kids uh, curriculum based on uh, on her program which that is mental sorry program preschool for five years old okay so number one the first one provide a safe engaging uh, nurturing learning environment for preschool okay uh, the second one promote social development to uh, respectful and clear communication refine sensory perception and the development of 
literacy and mathematical understanding. Okay, the third one, foster the development of communication, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking skill. Okay, the fourth one, foster the growth of functional independence, concentration, and self correction. The fifth one, Offer opportunity for imaginative exploration, leading of confident, creative self-expression, and last but not least, prepare children with the skill and experience they need to succeed at school and beyond. So this is the one. Uh, this is the mental study program that I will be, that I will be used on Smart Kids curriculum. Okay. Provide a safe, engaging, and nurturing learning environment for preschooling. Means provide a safe, engaging. Okay, means uh, first thing first. Before we do the activity, we need to check the area. Okay, either we need to check to make sure the area is safe for children, and uh, we have to limit the area so that we can control them. Uh, during the activity okay so that they want uh, they want run away through uh, other areas so we so we set uh, the area for them to play okay for active for outdoor activity okay promote social development through respectful and clear communication refine social perception and the development of literacy and mathematical mathematical understanding okay now the third one foster the development of communication, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking skill. Okay, so this one is also important. Develop of communication. Okay, communication with within peer, within peer, uh, within teacher and student, and within parent and student. Okay, parent and children, parent and teacher, and then creativity. Creativity. Uh, for me, creativity is important. Okay, it's very important because without uh, because every teacher must be creative. Okay, every teacher must be creative so that uh, so that they can uh, entertain the children uh, beside uh, teach them uh, the basic of learning okay collaboration and critical thinking skills so we, we, we would like to uh, so we would like to teach uh, children okay at the age of five years on how to think outside the box okay we will teach them on how to think outside the box how to solve the problem so that they can apply in the real life okay now we will go to instruction description of learning experience okay so uh, based on uh, smart kids curriculum okay so uh, I have decided okay uh, to uh, use learning through play based experience okay learning through play based experience because uh, children okay based on Pablo Naruda okay a child who does not play is not a child so what uh, what uh, Pablo Naruda mean is every children they love to play we cannot stop them from playing right because then because they learn through play okay through play they learn okay on cost and effect so for example okay uh, we already want them okay not to run through hall to hall uh, to corridor okay but do they still hear our instruction our instruction okay of course no because at the age of five the age of four they still cannot uh, they still can find out uh, the difference between uh, order and instruction and advice okay so they will keep run until they fall down and they will stop why they stop because they know 
if they keep running away at the corridor, they will do the same mistake, which is the fall down. Okay, it's what we call uh, cause and effect. Okay, so so means that we cannot stop them from playing. They will continue playing. Even we as an adult, we are still playing. Like myself, I play with my computer. I'm playing with my uh I play with my presentation. Right, so we cannot stop playing. That's what I mean. Okay. Alright, so play experience can range from free play to highly structured play. Pur 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 uh, purposeful play involves in the intentional planning and facilitation of children play to achieve intended learning outcomes. Okay, now, uh, okay, I will explain on unstructured. Okay, independent play without adult support okay uh, okay for for the independent play without adult support okay they just play uh with this uh they just play around okay without adult support okay means uh means means independent independent play okay they uh they will move their hand and their leg something like this okay all right without adult support Okay, okay. The uh, second one, child initiate. Okay, in initiated. Okay, child direct play with adult support through environment and interaction. The third one, teacher guided play that is planned and facilitated by adult to achieve learning outcomes. Okay, teacher guided. So teacher will plan the the activity. Uh, to them okay and they will follow the instruction okay based on learning based on what teacher have planned based on learning outcome based on uh, multiple intelligence based on team based on what kind of activity and the most important thing is based on appropriate activity at the age of 5 years or based on what they need what children need at the age of five years old. Okay, now we go to the, the fourth one. Highly structured. Okay, adult direct with children merely following instruction. Okay, now we go to. Well, now we continue to learning strategy. Okay, first of all, learning strategy. Okay, there are five. A type of learning strategy that uh, can be used on smart kids curriculum. The first one is brainstorming, uh, means grouping. Okay, uh, these children will be grouped into one uh, uh, one uh, uh, one uh, group, and then they will do some discussion with the two with uh, uh, these children will do some discussion with the teacher to find the solution to solve the problem like uh, like i mentioning before this okay through previous slide okay teacher will help children to find the to uh, to do to find the solution of problem solving so that they can implement in the real life without adult support okay that's why called brainstorming now body language Okay, we also, okay, through Smart Kids curriculum, we will use body language. Body language also uh, bring uh, what we call uh, non-verbal uh, language. Uh, okay, we will teach, uh, okay, okay, so uh, I can teach uh, children, okay, the learner can teach children on how to say no using body language. For example, like, no. Yes, yeah, something like the body language. Yeah? There's an example. Uh. Okay, now a pair, a pair work. Okay, a partner, a peer between themselves. Okay, so we can uh, curate the appropriate activity for children age five years so that they can do in pair. Okay, so that they can do some discussion and okay, they, they can do some discussion 
and uh, solve the problem together and achieve the objective. Okay, now the level of voice. Okay, level of voice also important because okay, we as a teacher we need to know. Okay, we need to control our voice. Okay, for example, okay, alright, hello. Okay, everyone, good morning. Okay, uh, have you take your breakfast? Okay, this is an example of the voice, level of voice. Okay, so we need to uh, control, we need to use our voice, okay, based on situation. Okay, for example, if the children, uh, if the class are of control, means, okay, we means that we have to use different type of level of voice right so based on 21st century nowadays nowadays right so maybe we can use level uh symbolic okay symbolic for example like okay body language huh? body language we call body language okay Shh. okay put your hand on your mouth okay this is one of the is a uh, 21st century uh language uh, 21st century learning body language Okay, or please hug yourself. Okay, means be quiet. Okay, okay, children. Okay, alright, focus on teacher. Focus on teacher. Okay, so this is example of the body language for the 21st century learning strategy. Okay, now, last but not least, think outside the box. Okay, we so we, we we teach them to think outside the box. Okay, to solve the problem so that they can apply in the real life. Ah, okay, alright. Okay, young children try to make sense of the world in which they live. Okay, they try to organize the visual, image, and concrete object in their environment into meaningful system. For example, like a pen. Okay. They try to organize the visual image and copy image in the environment into meaningful systems. So that, for example, I show you uh, a paint. Okay, for example, I give you the paint. So, by, uh, okay, I give you the paint. Okay, if this paint, okay, belong to this student, so, this paint will, uh, this student will say, oh, this paint is belong to me. This is my paint. No one can touch my paint. No one can steal my pen. No one can steal my pen. Store steal. Yeah, steal my pen. Because this is my pen. So, this, so, this is what we call meaningful system. Same goes to the position. Right? The, the chair, the table. Right? And, and so on. Right? Once, once they know, okay, this is the place. Right? Means that no one can touch my place. No one can sit on my chair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now, environment consists on three. Okay. Number one, the first one is physical environment. Physical environment consists of table, chair, a laptop, a pen, okay, a, a clock, and etc. All right. So the thing uh, inside a uh, space. Okay, space. Okay, the thing inside uh, on several space. Okay, for example, like this space, there are chair, there are several chair, there are several table, there are some whiteboard, there are uh, what we call the television, the laptop, and so on. So, uh, children will uh, get used on this situation. Okay, all right. So this is example lah. For example, like uh, now, I stay uh, like my current situation now okay they are chain all right so same goes to uh classroom at the age of five years preschool at the age of five years okay now we go to social environment social environment means okay the communication the soft skill between peer between teacher and student between student and parent between student and teacher so we call social environment. The third one is temporal environment. Temporal environment means okay, 
Uh, there are uh, a uh, what we call transition time. Transition time means okay on seven thirty they will uh, okay for example like seven thirty teacher will do circle time okay circle time like singing storytelling uh, etc. Then they will go to uh, and then after circle time they will go to uh, hall. To take the breakfast, then after they take the breakfast, they will do the next activity. Means they will we call temporal activity. Means that there are there there are time for them to rest. There are time for them to play. There are time for them to learn to study. Right, it's what we call temporal environment. Okay. Now we go to children assessment. Okay, children assessment. Uh, so based on children assessment, okay, smart kids curriculum. Guidelines. <laughs> okay, so evaluation learning experience still using evaluation learning experience. Okay, like learning process, learning instructional. Okay, play uh, learning through play based activity. Ah, uh, okay. So for the children assessment, I am using evaluation learning experience. Okay, so consists of three. Okay. Which are formal, traditional, and informal. Okay, for the formal, okay, uh, provide by okay, uh, consists of three norm, reference test, performing best test, and standardized test. So we will prepare. Okay, so the learner will prepare. Okay, teacher will prepare uh, exam. Okay, uh, assessment uh, exam uh, exam. For them, to them, uh, that that uh, to find out uh, the level and to find out uh, how uh, how much uh, so far uh, how much we understand the topic and so on. Okay, now we got to traditional teacher structure. Okay, students are given uh, co uh, uh, students are commonly given several choice and asked to select the correct answer. Okay, means that teacher plan the activity and student join the activity. To student join the activity, student enjoy the activity, student uh, what we call uh, interact with the activity. Okay, so recall, recognition of knowledge. So at the end of the lesson, teacher will do some recall. For example, okay, student, okay, what we have, what what we have learned today. So the student will answer. Yeah, today we learn about a food. Yes, we have nasi lemak. We have uh, uh we have uh a mee goreng. We have a curry. We have. Uh, a lot uh, and etc whatever so on uh. okay that's what we call recall uh. okay so at the end of the lesson teacher will find out okay uh, how many of students who master the, the lesson how many students who are still learning and how many students who are still uh, start to learn okay who are still uh, start to learn on the topic okay now the last one informal okay informal okay uh, the teacher have used portfolio okay portfolio means okay we will divide into three for early year mid year and final year okay this is what the portfolio uh. early year mid uh, mid year and uh, final year so the student will collect all the student uh, teacher will collect all the student uh, artwork student work okay and put inside the one file and uh, at the end of the year teacher will show us to parent or children performance okay now we have checklist even sampling and running record <coughs> Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Salam OEM. And terima kasih.